Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I am here with another anime movie and today I am going to be reacting to Into the Forest of Fireflies or in Japanese uh, it's Hotarubi no Mori A. Now I've heard a lot about this movie as well and I like I have to say I kind of forgot about this like you know this is one of those movies that I have always heard about I've always like you know seen people talk about how sad it is how emotional it is but it kind of slipped my mind and the previous week when I was reacting to my the movie that I was reacting to that is uh, can you eat my uh, uh, I realized that yeah there was a movie like this which I had on my watch list but then I forgot about it so I'm going to react to this today and like this has been like you know where 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 2011 it has been aired it's been a long while that is it has it has aired but still have not watched it and i also forgot about it so now that i remember it and i thought let's just make a you know uh like do this as a reaction in the day that i do movie reactions so yeah so i'll be doing this and this is a quite a short is a movie and it's quite short compared to other movies it's 45 minutes i think yeah so yeah let's see like you know what this is about the previous like the previous week as well i reacted to uh, can you eat my pancreas which was also another very like you know uh like a ride on an like you know emotional roller coaster so yeah i'm guessing this is also similar to that so yeah without further ado Let's get started with this movie. This is Into the Forest of the Fireflies. So yeah, I'll put in the subtitles and the timer here. Sync it to whichever is your preference. And let's get started. Alright, so here's the countdown. 3, 2, 1, go. Right, let's see what this is about. Excuse me. Oh, this is like a shrine. Yeah, it's it's a mountain top shrine, isn't it? Hmm. Oh, I've always, always seen this guy, you know, in, in a lot of like, you know, uh, pictures and all, like wearing a mask. I knew he, he's from this movie, but, you know, that's the only thing that I know. Let's just stop. Okay, so she's going to the... Oh. To the... <laughs> okay, so she's going to the countryside or something, I'm guessing. Damn, the... You can feel the heat. <laughs> Okay. Hmm. First time. To the forest of the firefly lights. Okay. Excuse me. On a hot summer day. Mountain God. Oh, okay. Oh, so that that guy, <laughs> shorty. Okay, where was that from?
Okay. <laughs> Look at that. All right. Yeah, it is him. <laughs> oh. <laughs> he dodged. Wow. <laughs> Damn. That's sad. <laughs> yeah, you should not have dodged it like that. <laughs> Human child. Oh, so he's some kind of yokai or something. Oh, so that's why she do he dodged. Okay. Some kind of spirit. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. Disappear means no. Disappear. <laughs> um. Don't. Yeah. <laughs> um. Okay. Oh. Oh my god, this guy! <laughs> he, she, he whacked her! In the face! Little kid! <laughs> Ob obliterated. Okay, that's a... Okay. Mountain god. Okay, don't touch him. Yeah, that's what you get <laughs> for not listening. <laughs> okay, that was a joke. <laughs> oh my god, wow. Yeah, this is like, like a shrine, you know? <laughs> what? <laughs> All right. Damn, he like she's barely, you know, keeping up. The mask, I'm guessing. Or whatever. Oh. Hmm. All right. Oh, her name is, is also Hotaru. Okay. Hotaru means fireflies. So Yeah, what is his name? Um, Gin, okay. Gin means silver. Yeah, just like his hair color. Right. Very simple names. Like she's Hotaru, which means fireflies, and he's Gin, which means silver. So. <laughs> you idiot. She's gonna get whacked again. There you go. <laughs> okay, that is... I made a... Uh... Yeah. Yeah, it's true, like, you know, now that she saw it. 
Hmm. Hmm. That's what, like, you know. Was it in... Oh. Oh my god, they were in the Spirit Festival. Yeah, the Yokai Festival. <laughs> All right. Yeah, she can't. Hmm. Another thing, like, you know, children and especially like, you know, animals as well. They are able to see like, you know, uh, ghosts and spirits more than adults. Because they're like, you know, they're mind is more imaginative and everything and like it's said that spirits and ghosts kind of show themselves in front of those kids more than the adults and they're able to perceive more because they're ch still children and young so no no touching you get the whack on your head <laughs> What was she like, carrying in that? Is that a popsicle? What is that? But the music in this movie is so, you know? Yeah, it is a popsicle. Damn, they're biting into the popsicle, like, <laughs> that's some, um, like, ballsy move. <laughs> oh, what is the sound? Oh, what the? What is that? Another yokai? Yeah, it must be. Uh, oh my god, the music is changing. What the hell? That, that's not a sleep. That's a... This is slime. A demon slime. <laughs> yeah. Oh damn! Oh no, don't say he's sneezing! <laughs> oh, it's a kitsune! <laughs> okay. So that was not a demon slime. Well, yeah, the, the, the someone standing beside you, like, you know? <laughs> no pera book. Yeah, I wonder, why is he covering his face? Like, he's so beautiful <laughs> that <laughs> something like that. <laughs> All right. No touching, you get the whack. Okay, you should not touch him. <laughs> okay, so she's reminiscing about these things.
Oh, the hat. Oh, these are like little, like, you know, leaf boats. <laughs> okay. No touching. I think I think you can. Yeah, I think she can probably touch the mask. That's. I think that's. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wait, really? Oh, okay. <laughs> Hmm. Oh yeah, people might go and touch him. Yeah, that might. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so I get it now. Like wearing his mask kind of makes others kind of hesitate in front of him, if someone like you know comes in front of him. So I'm guessing that's why. Oh yeah, he's going, she's going back. Mm. Yeah, I guess so, you know. Some of vacations come every year, so. <laughs> All right, okay. So she's still uh, like doing that, continuing that. So this time he's, she's also going to the uncle's house, like. <laughs> True. Oh, is that the... What the hell? Oh. What is this? Some kind of tree, Yokai? Oh my god. Whoa. Yeah. Two then three. Hmm. Yo, damn! What? <laughs> oh no, the, the, the branches. The branch is breaking. Well, it, it's covered with a mask, so you won't be able to see it either way. Yeah, it's breaking. No, no. Oh, no. 
Yes, he cannot touch her. Mm, yeah. <laughs> he could have brought something, you know, to catch her. <laughs> oh, damn, that. Okay, so um, I feel like probably something like that's going to happen by the end of it. Oh my god. Yeah, this is like a heavy foreshadowing. But she, she looks pretty happy now still. So I'm guessing like nothing happened still. Like now that she's going back to the uncle's place in the present. I don't know. <laughs> Fifth grader. <laughs> um, yeah. Yeah, she became taller as well. Like, obviously, like, you're, you're bound to get taller. Yeah, that as well. Well, he won't age, so you know. Oh, slower. It's not that he won't age, but he, he's slower. Okay. <laughs> There you go. Okay, don't fall. Like, all right, that's good. I thought she was going to, you know, trip and fall or something. Yeah, but Gin won't, like, you know, that won't happen to him. Hmm. Hmm. What happened? Oh! <laughs> Okay. True. Yeah, that's that's also going to happen sooner than you know. Very soon. Hmm. No, the grandpa. The, his grand, her grandpa didn't change. He's still that, like, you know. Alright. 
Oh, she's leaving tomorrow. <laughs> okay. Hmm. Okay. Oh, all right. Oh, that's why. Okay. Whoa. Like that amount of, like, you know, coldness. Okay. But one thing is good that he he can touch like you know human things like even though he cannot touch humans he can touch the things like you know they made like like i wonder like if he wears a gloves or something like you know and touches him will anything happen i doubt you know that's like a loophole <laughs> Yeah, like she she can like, you know wear a glove and touch him. Like now that I think about it, I don't know. <laughs> oh. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's like three colors in the windows. Yeah, not three, it's like four. Hmm. Yeah, it's freezing. <laughs> head, head is in the clouds. What? Oh. Oh, damn. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's very cold. Yeah. I wonder what he does, like, you know, when it's freezing and like snowing like this. Okay, <laughs> he changed his clothes. Like obviously, he needs to change the clothes. I wonder, I wonder, like, does he even feel cold? You know, or hot? Like he's like he's a yokai, so. Yeah, she, she's, she's older now, obviously. She older than Gain or like, they're like the same? I think they're like the same age now, almost. <laughs> yeah.
What? Yeah. Mm. Okay. Oh, wait. Oh. So the yoka is like raised him, I'm guessing. <laughs> oh. Oh. Okay. What does mental magic is? That's why. Time might separate us and yeah. Great festival. Oh the th oh <laughs> the, the thing that they said, like you know the her grandfather. Hmm. All right. <laughs> All right. Um, no. Wow, this is like, so this is what, like, you know, the grandfather said. <laughs> so they d d does this every year, I'm guessing, the yokai. <laughs> Look at them. <laughs> wow, this is. <laughs> they even, like, you know, put up stalls and all. Wow. <laughs> there's this, you know, there's games as well. Hmm. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, that, that happened before. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> they don't even know. <laughs> So who knows, there might be one or two people here, you know? Oh, okay. Hm. 
I'm guessing. Oh, okay, no, like that's like it's only special for him, isn't it? Like if humans touch him, he'll disappear. But it's not as if like Hotaru if touches some other yokais, they won't disappear. I'm guessing. <laughs> no, cotton candy. Oh no! <laughs> what? what the? You can't even eat the cotton candy. Oh, I've seen this in a lot of like you know animes, like especially in like in the festivals and everything. I'm not sure what this actually is. Oh no! Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> well, yes. <laughs> oh, these things, uh, the masks. Maybe you can find something similar. Wait, that's a. <laughs> How did she even mistake that for a mask, you know? <laughs> oh, what is this? Okay. <laughs> yeah, so this is a yearly thing. Oh, what? Oh. Um. <sighs> yeah. Yeah, I'm also getting that feeling. What, what's going to happen? Oh no! I hope that's a yokai. If that's a human... Oh god, yeah, that is a human. Oh god. Oh no. Oh god. And uh, yeah, this this like became a opportunity, like a thing for them. Because either way, like we could kind of guess that he won't be coming here from the next year. So like, they just needed a opportunity. And like when he realized that yeah I'm disappearing, the smile in his face that shows that like you know the opportunity that he got at that moment. <sighs> mm. 
Ya. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so everything after everything happened, she's coming back now. Like, okay. Whoa, like, yeah, this happened so quickly, you know, like, suddenly, like, in the matter of. Oh, God, that's the end. Yeah, that's the end. Oh my god, so... Yeah, like... One thing I'm glad is that they focused on the... You know? Um, the happy times. Like, the sad portion was only for, like, the last five minutes. And, like, you know, the whole movie, they kind of... Focused on everything that was happy. So... Yeah. Hmm. Like, uh, like, you know, when I saw, like, like, obviously in the beginning, from the beginning, we see her coming to this grandfather's place and she's recollecting things. She's reminiscing about these things. And the smile in her face, at least seeing it, I thought that, oh, maybe something's going to happen after this, you know? Like after she like she's reminiscing for a bit it will probably go on for 20 um, or so something like that you know minutes and then we're going to see her present self going to the grandfather's house and after that something sad is going to happen because i like obviously like everyone knows that this is a sad movie and something sad is going to happen by the end of it but seeing her happy smile from the beginning of the like you know movie I, I thought that maybe like you know after immunizing something bad is going to happen but like you know the the happiness that we saw in her face from the beginning of the movie that's a happiness not happiness but that's like a state of like you know mind after like a lot of a few like in you know, a few months or, uh, or, or a year has passed after everything sad happened like you know how people kind of accept it because like you know sad things happen and like similarly like when we saw her like you know hugging him for the first time she was happy and at the same time after like like you know the the moment passed and she realized she became sad and started crying and as like you know she said that i probably won't be able to like you know for one or two years i won't be able to like keep my feelings in check about this so i'm i'm sure like you know the happy like you know the 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 thing we saw from the beginning of the movie after before like you know when she was recollecting that was something that hap like you know is happening after two or three years passed after gin disappeared you know like when he like you know she has been able to accept everything and she you know like thinks about the happy memories of him only so yeah like this is the thing after acceptance so that's also some like you know something that i was not expecting i was some expecting you know something to happen after this but yeah that's the actual thing that happened here all right so this is not like a, this this is not a movie as as far yeah you know let's i can say it's just a, like an extended anime episode uh two anime episodes 
uh it's like 45 minutes so yeah and <coughs> excuse me and uh yeah like like <laughs> I was like, I, I thought like, you know, that everything happened so quickly that and also another thing like, you know why, like, it's sad, obviously sad, but another reason why it is not as sad as like, you know, the previous, like, obviously I, I saw like, uh, uh, I can eat my pancreas the previous week, it was devastating, you know. But this is not as sad as that because number one, there are a few reasons for that. Number one, this is short, you know, because this is short and we like, you know, have not spent much time with Gin or Hotaru, like the, the effect is quite less than two hour movies, you know, like for two hour movies, we spent almost like one and a half hour with all these characters with the happy times. And then something devastating happens and it like hits hard. This, this is even more apparent in actual animes, you know, actual full seasoned animes, which hits extremely hard. For example, Clanad, we spent 20, no, not even 20, 35, 36 episodes across, like, you know, a story like spanning through two seasons completely. And then everything hit like a truck. If we've spent 35 episodes with all those characters with Nagisa, with Ushio, not Ushio, Ushio we saw a lot later on, you know, with Tomoyo, like, uh, like I love Clanner so much, I remember every name, you know. <laughs> okay, so anyway, so yeah, as I was saying, so uh, Tomoyo with Ushio, uh, not Ushio, with, oh, that's the end, with Nagisa, so like so many episodes we spent that when bad things happen, that really, uh, like, you know, hits like a truck. But like so it's like that you know the more time we spent with these characters the more it hits hard so and obviously like a lot of other shows as well for example uh, you lie in april and what else anohana like so many uh, like examples uh, so those really like you know are sad because of that reason because we've been spending our like you know so much time with these characters that we really get attached to them but at least for this movie, the sadness, like, you know, came and went. It was like we were only introduced for this character for 25, 30 minutes. So, like, the impact is a lot lesser than all of these. Like, if this was, like, an extended, like, you know, if this was made into, I'm not, I'm guessing this is, like, a one-shot manga, I think, most probably. Uh, but if it was like if this was like a full fledged manga or something you know for fifty or sixty episodes uh, like chapters and all and it was like an anime of one or two seasons, <laughs> this would have been devastating I I'm sure about it, but yeah that's like that's the first reason why this is not as sad as the other it's sad, but the intensity is not that much another reason and this is I think the biggest reason is that by the end of it like something happy happened it was not all bad because by the end of it as they were implying probably if some, nothing like this happened you know if Hota, uh, if uh, gin did not touch that human kid he could have probably lived then what you know as they were implying he would have probably i don't know why but because of some reason maybe he wouldn't be able to come you know or something might have happened after that that's why like you know uh, like all these like he was kind of like talking like this and like as hotaru was kind of uh like you know talking like you know thinking about it and she was thinking that yeah this is probably our last time so that would have happened you know they wouldn't have been able to like this would have been it this 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 summer would have been the last so what actually happened even if it looks like something bad happened when he touched that kid it's actually something good happened you know why because that gave him the courage after he realized that he is disappearing that gave him the courage to actually like you know tell hotaru that hotaru like is, is finally here like we can like you know touch each other like come give me a hug something like that he was able to like you know when he realized when he saw his hand that he's disappearing almost like you know like for that moment he started smiling so much he, he was so happy at that moment because of the realization that yeah like this is the first time that i would probably be able to like you know she'll be able to touch me 
Hotaru as well after realizing that she knew she knew that this would probably be the end but she and uh, Gin were not able to gather that courage to actually like you know touch him she was able to unable to gather that courage and like Gin was also unable to gather that courage to tell her to yeah come touch me so that kid like basically made an opportunity the kid basically gave them a push so like it's like a good thing actually happened by the end of it it's not all sad because as i said like if there was this kid, kid was not there if that kid was a yokai or something you know he you know uh, king would have probably touched him nothing would have happened they would have talked and like you know this summer would come to an end Hotaru would go back home and after in the next you know next year she comes back and as Gin said that I probably won't be able to meet you from the next week, year she probably wouldn't have been able to meet him after that I don't know why they did not explain it why but something must have happened you know so maybe like you know maybe the 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 thing that the curse that as like you know the so-called curse that was on him was probably going to like you know disappear or something and that's why he himself also was on to also going to be unable to keep his existence or something something like that most probably so yeah that would have happened and like like the thing that actually happened here is not sad it's actually an opportunity that they got to express their feelings for the last and they were also able to like you know see each other uh, like un until the end you know until gin's end like for like you know uh, until the last moment gin was able to be with her that's also another good thing like just imagine like you know she goes back and Gin would probably disappear in some time after that and she comes back she won't be able to see Gin. I think that's an even more sadder like you know thing that could have happened. So I think this is a very like you know good outcome in a way. It's sad but it's good because this is basically like they like two things happened like they were able to touch each other because of that opportunity that the kid made for them. They the kid like you know gave them courage to like uh, like ultimately express their feelings and also like they were able to be together up till the last of Gin's lifespan so that's also another reason why this is not as sad like like you know like this this has a like a great like underlying what can i say um effect you know not effect like what can i say like this is a great underlying like thing that was happening like which is actually like it looks sad but it's actually like a disguise the actuality that happened here is actually better than that could have happened if nothing like this happened you know this is like a blessing in disguise in a way so these are the two reasons at least i think why this is not as sad i thought this would probably be devastating you know it will be so sad but like by the end of it i think i'm satisfied with this because you know because we all we all of us know knew that yeah they never would have been able to like you know be together like that's impossible like that's one thing that was uh, established from the beginning of the movie we can feel about it. like you know if we can feel it and we can understand that yeah something like this might happen so by the end of it when we got that confirmation that yeah that is going to happen by the end so like like this like you know the thing that happened here like he disappeared because of touching the kid <sighs> that's a blessing in disguise and i think that's good because like this would have been a sad ending either way so at least by the end of it they were able to fulfill their wishes that's my opinion on f like you know on, on the whole movie at least so yeah and nothing was to talk about this because this is like a very slice of life -y, like you know uh show uh, show and uh, we saw how like you know the whole age thing also comes here as she was thinking that you know the i'll like become you know become older and older and like gin will be the same forever like one a time will come when i'll be older than him all of that thing she was thinking about and like you know all, also we saw all these yokais you know all this uh we saw a uh, kitsune um uh a tree yokai i'm not sure what it's called and there's this kind of umbrella yokais i've seen them as well i, I can't remember their name what are the umbrella yokais called I, i'm forgetting 
uh, just a second I'm very curious umbrella yokai kasa oba obake okay kasa obake okay that's pretty easy to remember because kasa means umbrella and obake means like monster or something like you know obake so kasa obake all right so that as well and a lot of other like you know yokais as, uh, as well like we saw like a lot of them kind of transforming into these things and uh, yeah the, the cast was also very like you know like there were not many characters we saw like obviously Gin and Hotaru were the main characters <clears throat> excuse me and the other characters were the bomb uh, I'm talking about Hotaru, Hotaru was the bomb, Hotaru was dad um, Hotaru was grandfather who else uh, obviously we saw like those like you know those uh, like yokais like the kitsune and the tree tree yokai those were there as well and uh there's this uh, guy uh, I, I can't remember his name i'm not sure even if they mentioned his name uh, the guy uh, in hotel school like these were the characters here and uh, yeah and uh, like obviously like this is like 45 minutes show so like uh, like like you know so that's why like there are no much more characters here and uh, yeah and the story that he, uh, you know gin said about him like you know being abandoned in a uh, just a sec mm, where is it about him being abandoned in the forest and he was crying you know uh, okay here it is okay so here it is like okay so here it is like i, I was a bit confused here like, he says that it, like he was left here uh, and he was crying and the yokais came in and he says that it, i was so like you know crying so much as if to call back the parents who left me and uh, they said i didn't stop crying at least uh then like he okay i should have died then but the mountain god appeared and cast a spell that allowed me to continue living so that i never move on okay i'm like a ghost okay so here's the thing that really confuses me here is he was alive wasn't he now i'm guessing they like the mountain god came and cast a spell on him as he said because he would have otherwise died here like, you know so one thing that i really am not understanding is that why did the yokais not like you know carry him to like, you know some kind of human settlement or something like outside the forest now one th there might be one reason here most probably because like you know yokais cannot uh interfere with the humans like you know with the human world there might be some kind of rule like this so maybe that's why like you know they were not able to actively participate in his fate you know like them carrying him to the humans would probably alter his fate like, you know other, like you know as he said that he would have probably died here so it would be like literally changing his fate or something like that i'm not sure i might be like looking too much into it but maybe that's the reason why they were not able to do anything like that so like you know they like they were like you know they were forced to like keep him like that in the, like you know in that basket without helping him and that's why most probably the mountain god came and he he, he or she realized that yeah if like you know if the baby keeps being here he'll die because we won't be able to interfere in anything and like you know the baby will be left here starving and he'll be dead in one or two days like you know so maybe that's what the mountain god came and realized and like you know like gave that like the blessing or curse whatever you like you know interpret it i i interpret it as like a blessing you know because it kind of um like, you know and like you know let him live live for more he was able to live at least so yeah anyway so that gave that thing to him so that as he said that i won't be able to pass on so as he says that i'm like a ghost and the the thing that the mountain god gave him is so like you know feeble that if a human touches him 
it will like you know it will go away and he'll die immediately because in his fate he was supposed to be dead it's just that the the thing that the mountain god did that's just keeping him here and like not letting him pass on so basically it's like a bounded spirit he's basically like a bounded spirit you know bounded ghost who is like you know bind to a bound to a place so something like that and like if someone touches him that that the the, the spell that uh, the mountain god put on him would disappear and he will also follow his fate and die on that you know on that moment it's probably something like that most probably it's because of that reason the mountain god gave him this something like this no, it's not a curse because obviously like when he said that it's a curse it seemed as if like you know he did something wrong and like you know the mountain god cursed him or something no that's not it it's something like this and uh, yeah i think that is it most probably most probably the yokais were helpless and were unable to do anything so that's why the mountain god uh, was forced to do something like this to at least make him like you know keep living so yeah like they like you know did not explain many things about uh, you know anything so everything like you know we can kind of like speculate about stuff and think about it on our own yeah so yeah and by the end of it as we said like you know hotaru and like uh, gain got the opportunity to kind of touch each other finally and like you know the courage that they needed like they knew they won't be able to meet each other but the courage that they needed were they were unable to like you know bring that courage to themselves and they were unable to do it so they would have probably went home and that would have been it like you know like hotel would go home back in tokyo i'm guessing tokyo or in the city and like i don't know what would have happened to gin probably he would disappear or something but like that courage that they needed to like you know like like touch each other was not there so the the kid came and it's like you know like the kid gave them an opportunity when Hota, like gin was disappearing hotaru and gin both of them were able to muster the courage to finally touch each other and like, you know at least be with him until the end so yeah that's like a really good you know way to end this at least i think like it could have been sadder you know it could have been a lot more devastating if like hotaru went back and when he comes back the next year she probably won't be able to find him because he already disappeared that would have been more sadder more devastating so this is like at least for me i think like, this is like a really good ending a better ending than the actual fate that was set in stone and yeah like now hotaru comes back every like, you know just like she comes back here every summer and i'm guessing she goes to the forest like walks around or something maybe the yokai's also like you know meet her and they talk or something <laughs> who knows yeah so yeah that was it guys so that was this movie uh this is uh hotaru uh, <laughs> sorry <laughs> hotaru bi no mori e or into the uh, what's it called into the forest of fireflies light so yeah, so if you guys enjoyed my reaction, be sure to press the like button and also subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed, comment down below anything you want to say or anything you want to share. I'll definitely check them out. Or if you have any movie suggestions, you can comment down below as well. Also, um, next week, now I'm going to like react to this movie. Uh, it was recommended to me a lot of times and it's um, Lup Lupin 3. Uh, the castle of Cal Caliostro, I think. Yeah, that's the pronunciation. I think. Now, I don't know anything about Lupin. I've heard about him a lot, but I've never seen anything. Now, I also asked the like you know the people who suggested this to me that would I be able to watch this after, even if I know nothing about Lupin, and they said that yes, this is like you know you'd be able like you'd have no problem understanding what's happening. So I decided to watch this. I, I'm like, you know, I'm going to react to this next week. And the reason why I'm like, you know, reacting to it is because it's like the director is Miyazaki Hayao. It's, it's a, you know, Miyazaki film. So that's also another th reason why, like, you know, like, obviously I love Ghibli movies. I've reacted to almost every Ghibli movies. It's in my channel, you know. Uh, so like, so that's why, like, you know, I'm really excited to watch this as well. So next week I'm going to do uh, Lupin 3, the castle of Cagliostro. 
like i also like like i i don't know i might do it someday you know like i also have a really like i have i, I like you know i i really want to watch lupin like you know the, the series as well so who knows i might do a reaction someday you know of the all of the lupin like you know uh, episodes when i get time i'll probably start it like it's obviously like lupin 3 is i'm guessing like a very big like you know uh like there's a lot of episodes or something at least i think so so it would probably take a lot of time so like when i get time i'll probably like think about starting lupin as well as a reaction series because i don't think i've seen anyone reacting to lupin i don't think so so who like you know like i probably might start i don't know so this will probably be my first time like you know uh like seeing lupin i remember like uh seeing lupin before as well but it was i think in a detective conan movie like lupin had a crossover or something yeah i remember it like i i'm a big detective conan fan so it was like uh like uh, in detective conan i think there was this one episode where lupin had a crossover or something so that's my only like you know th that was the only time when i saw lupin and i know nothing about him i know he's a gentleman thief i think most probably something like that and obviously we i also know mine fujiko mine fujiko is like one of the most iconic characters like you know like i i, I doubt no one like you know anyone who does not know her like mine fujiko so like i have some background information on them but other than that nothing so let's see what like you know in the next uh, week i'll react to this to uh, the movie rupin caligostro no shiro or castle of caligostro so yeah anyway so yeah guys thank you guys for watching um uh, Hotarubi no Mori E or uh, Into the Forest of the Fireflies Light. So, yeah, I'll see you guys next week with another movie reaction. So, until then, goodbye and have a nice day.